let me get our next guest in here. Uh, sure. Liz Weinhole. Liz, you you around? Yes. Hello. 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 Hi. Hello, hey, everybody. Hello, Liz. How are you this evening? I'm doing fabulously. How are you two doing? Resplendent. How about you, Tom? I'm I'm swell. I love the various color schemes you got going on with the different Latins in our locales. This is oh, real nice. Oh, look at it's, that. It's like it's like our own little little dungeon of lights. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's like one of those traffic lights in a city where some shit's gone awry with their system and they switch the green lights out for blue lights. I don't understand why they've done that, but I've seen that happen in a couple towns. I, I, th I think it's idiotic patriotism. I think you've seen uh, an overly patriotic display in your in, in San Antonio, Tom. I think that's what you're describing. Liz, thank you so much for being on the program this evening. We are so excited to be able to connect with you here through the computer. Hopefully, we'll be able to help you uh, sell some items on eBay. Oh, yes, of course. I'm a first-time call, a long-time listener. So this is, this is going to be wonderful. Uh, Happy to have you in. Yes, yes. Uh, well... Uh, there comes a little story. You see, my father passed away not too long ago. And on his deathbed, he said, Liz. And I said, what? And he said, Liz, you're a disappointment. But I love you. So I'd like to hand you my fortune in the form of this cheer treasure chest. Inside is everything you'll ever need to survive in this horrible, horrible world. I haven't opened it yet. I figure we opened it here and we get it appraised. And we make our um, we make our fortune. How's that sound, boys? That sounds fantastic. Let us let's, do it, please. Let's do it on the count of three. One, One. fuck it. Let's just open it. All right. Now, everyone in the chat, I hope you're watching this. This is real happening live in real time. Everybody is loving Liz. Well, it it, oh it seems God. that my father. Uh, um, oh. He pulled. Oh. <sighs> He's just laughing his ass off in hell, I'm sure. His well, this is made from ch in China. Maybe we just go with the chest then. I guess. Okay, Liz, I, I understand that uh, <sighs> having opened this and seen its contents would implore you to try and change the subject back to this very poorly made, uh, inexpensive box. But I it's sure... a chest, Michael. It's more than a box. Yeah, it it, it, it is a chest, but it is a poorly made chest. I'll, I'll, I'll agree to that. But the true item on display here is a relationship between you and your father that we you know are going what? to explore. You know what? If anything, it's symbolic. It's empty. It's like my hopes and dreams. Maybe my father did know me. No, no, no. Okay, Liz. Huh? Liz, this is uncomfortable. You got a note that says fuck you on it as your inheritance. From your dad. It's all. Yes. Uh, that is not, do not fall into the trap of re narrativizing this as your father doing something good and accurate. This is clearly an insult. I mean, my old childhood was an insult, honey. <laughs> This is a this was a cherry on top of the cake that was a that that just was the whole thing. Do you, do you think there's a piece of your dad lodged inside that box somewhere? Besides the note, besides the note that says "fuck you." Well, let's see. I mean, it it smells like him. It it does smell like him. Cigars and cigars and oh. Apricots. That's that's my father. That's my father's odor. Huh. Presumably from smoking outdoors in the in his yard. And, and a love of apricots. See, he loved he loved his apricots. I don't know what to tell you there. It's so interesting the way fathers are, right? Like, I don't have any kids of my own. Neither does Tom. But I imagine if if Tom were to give his son or daughter or child a box. Based on the conversation I had with him about eight minutes ago, it probably would explode, causing severe harm to his child. Uh, hold on. Wow. I would never kill my child with a bomb. Well, I would never, if okay. anything, listen, if we're going to talk, 
I don't Sounds even like want I to talk out. with you about what I would, what method I would use to kill any of my family members right now, okay? Because that's not even close to what we're dealing with. We got a dead family member on our hands, Michael, Liz. Okay. Why are y'all looking at me like that? It has to be I said, Tom. You have you've shown tendencies that are alarming, and I I'm just I'm just shocked that my father could. Could, could have blown me up. That that was a possible. I didn't know that was a possibility. See, you never think about it, and then you get caught in an explosion, and all of a sudden, guess what? You wish you never thought that you could be in an explosion, but there you are, thinking, wow, I wish I was never in an explosion, but then there you are. You're in an explosion. You're sitting there thinking, I wish I never thought about myself I'd be in an explosion, but there you are. Now, Liz, on on. The when your father was in better health and you were able to uh, associate with him uh, on a more personal day-to-day -day level, uh, what would your rapport be like? Uh, it was very distant. I'd be in one room. He'd be in another house in another state. So it was a very distant relationship, but yeah, I mean, it just wasn't. And has your father ever used this kind of language towards you? The language oh, that was on that notepad? Oh, all the time. Oh, oh, all the time, honey. He, he, he once told me, he once told me, get out of here. I'm not your real father. And I, at first I thought he was, he was just joking until he, he really just grabbed me by a scruff and just threw me out. Then I was like, he might be onto something there. I got, I got an idea. I got an idea, Liz. I got an idea, Michael. Look. I see this treasure chest. What you're going to want to do is fill this chest up with memories. Uh -oh. All right. Cause what your father has done, Liz is, is offer up not just a, a, a fuck you to you, but a chance for you to turn those fuck yous into profits. Cause what people love to buy on eBay is as we've learned over the course of the past several weeks cursed items and there's nothing more cursed than a father who actively despised their children so you take those memories and you fill that box up with those memories you yell them into it you scream those memories at all those times you felt hurt and you yell them inside and then you lock the box and then you sell it for a large profit on the electronic bay. Oh, that I got. I never even thought of it that way. That is an excellent idea. I mean, much better than a bomb. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you that right now. But that is an excellent idea. It's easy to come up with ideas that are better than a bomb. Bombs that, are a pretty bad idea. That is, that is true. That seems more like a last result kind of a last result kind of idea. Yeah. Seems like you're you're you got a two solid acts of a screenplay and you're struggling on that third and you need something. So you you lean on the crutch that is an explosive device. Right. What you should be doing is putting the bomb in the first act of the That's screenplay right. and let the fallout carry the rest of the story. That's There's right. so much more emotion tied into it. I don't understand how people get through all these screenwriting. Save the cat. No, blow up the cat and let people deal with the cat after the fact. Mm. Anyway, your childhood blew up. Now you have to take what you did and put it into the third act of your life, which is selling that for thousands of dollars on eBay. Um, Michael, do you have any closing thoughts for Liz? I, I do see we're running up on time here. I just want to say, Liz, uh, for most of this, I was zeroing in, kind of prodding on your relationship with your father. And I feel like I didn't allow myself to take in all of you. You have lots of humor. Oh. Uh, there's a light emanating from you. Uh, and you seem like a fantastic person. And you are much more than the relationship with your father. I would love to have you come back on uh, if you ever have any other uh, eBay-related questions or needs. Uh, because I feel Let's... like there's a lot there that we would really enjoy uh, learning. Uh, 
Well, I mean, you had, that was a long way to go for a task for a second date, but of course, of course, I would love to come back. I my long windedness is a compliment to. Uh, oh, and to the compliment I'm... is it has been received. <laughs> Thank you. Of course, Liz. Listen, anytime you want to come back on, we're here. <laughs> that sounds delightful, darling. I, I, I look forward to it. Liz, we'd love to have you back. We'll see you next time. I'll see you both later. Goodbye, darlings. Have a good evening, Liz. Bye.